our vacation to Seattle and geocaching headquarters, we have to scrap the whole thing. Unfortunately, Lyric Glass tested positive for COVID. In our best interest to head home right now. Getting out for a little stretch in the middle of Montana. Off in the distance is the Anaconda National Historic Monument. And I had to ask when I saw the sign, what the heck is the Anaconda National Historic Monument? Well, there you see it off in the distance. It's a large smokestack. And why would you have a National Historic Monument on a smokestack? Well, this is why, and it's kind of interesting. At 585 feet, the stack was the tallest in the world when it was completed in 1918. There was a geocache closer to the stack, but our goal was to get home. Lyric Glass had tested positive, and I likely would soon, so we didn't want to venture too far. Any geocache we did go after would have to be close by and where we were stopping. This rest area just happened to have an earth cache based on the mountains nearby. I like it. It's a 1-1 one -one earth cache. And we're at the virtual in Butte, Montana. It's a highly favorited one. And right behind my head are two of the answers to the virtual, but I can't show you. But that is a, a tunnel into the viewing area so you can look into the pit. Unfortunately, due to our COVID status, uh, we can't go inside to the viewing area. Uh, Lyric Glass, especially, and me, possibly. Even if I wore a mask, we're not going to go in there. But all we are required here is to answer the questions, which are all easily done from outside. And then I can take a picture without showing the answers, and we're good to go. The open pit mine, it's not hard to miss when you come into town. It is a gigantic scar in the side of the mountain. And it would be cool inside the uh, viewing area, but unfortunately, due to our lemon situation, uh, we can't go in. So, But we've got another virtual with a lot of favorite points, and it's from 2002. Off we go to destinations to the east and more webcams. Even when the sun begins to shine all the advice there is and none of it has helped We wanna go through the summer night And we we'll be, be, be It ain't over till it's over Pretty easy to follow the trail right up here, it's pretty visible then turn the corner around this uh, cedar and then there's a big hole and there's the cache. So let's see what we have under the cover. Oh, nice. Official geocache, wooden box, bit of a slider, but geez, oh my gosh. Even though I was expecting it, I still got scared. And I even saw the one at the geocaching maze <laughs> with the big hairy arm that came out that scared Lyric Glass, and it still got me. <laughs> Check under his coat. It says it's on this side. Got it. Come on, let's ride this train. Come on. Yeah, you got it. Yay. Yep, got it. And that's a uh, quick grab and go and uh, you don't have to worry about grinning and bearing it.
Because <laughs> it's an easy one. Let's go. More cash is to be found. We have to be together here in the stormy weather. Though my world in is as we get closer to home. We're now in uh, Bighorn country, like uh, as in the Battle of the Little Bighorn. And looking around at the scenery, I had to look around twice and three times to make sure there's not a tree in sight. Not a one. Nowhere. <laughs> it's like rolling fields, low hills, buttes, but no trees, none at all. So uh, we're getting close to the Wyoming border, and then uh, on our next episode, we'll be doing another webcam. So make sure you join us as we uh, move on east into Wyoming and South Dakota. Oh my word.